How many of you read this story? Surface yesterday. A call to police and gun. Sorry about that. You see uh, the title? Gonna be, uh... Body cam wasn't on when police officer shot a Great Dane. Uh, being excessive, you can actually contact animal control as well. You're looking at the Maybe, body uh, cam video. Minute. Now, yeah, it is minutes. The dog is blurred out, but you can see that it's laid out and its tail is still wagging. It's after an officer involved shooting the victim, a family's beloved dog who got out from their yard. Let's bring in four investigates. Derek. Okay, beloved. Who cares if it was beloved? They was in love with a killer. Now you heard what he said. Rewind that. Garcia, Derek. Sir involved shooting the victim, a family's beloved dog who got out from their yard. Got out from their yard. Again, I always have to stop and point that out. Because they, they tell on themselves when they say that. On one hand, they say that dogs are always provoked. There's always a trigger. There's always something done to them that triggers an attack. But on the other hand, they say that an attack happened because the dog got out, got out of the yard, got out of the fence. That's not enough information. They're basically telling on themselves, admitting that when dogs are free or out, what they naturally do is look for somebody to attack. You're telling everyone how much these things need to be banned when you say that. Yeah, it just got out. Well, a dog getting out is not supposed to be what causes an attack, according to the experts. They say there's always a trigger. And I say, no, it's not even territory aggression. They always invade other people's territory and personal space. These are just dysfunctional mutants, especially these bully breeds. Let's bring in four investigates, Derek Garcia. Derek. Yeah, hey, Chris, the four investigates team is learning this shooting may uncover a larger issue with the San Juan Police Department. Missing body cam footage, and it's not just from one officer. This is also with some of the highest ranking leaders. It's, they're big dogs. I got bit once already by a pit bull, and I didn't. I didn't take that chance. And like I said, it has happened to me because of an a reaction. Now he he shouldn't have to explain himself. He was the victim of an attack. When since when do the victims have to explain why they defended themselves? If they successfully defend themselves see if they're if they're attacked if they're assaulted then what you see we got to stop this this lady crying Timber look at this 20, sir this is also I didn't I didn't take that chance and like I said it has happened to me because of a late reaction she is basically building up a cry She's trying to conjure herself. She's trying to make herself cry because she knows inside that she is not the guilty party here, that it was actually him. She knows that full well, but because he's sending himself on a guilt trip, she's going along with it. Like, okay, you want to sit there and act like you are the perpetrator when you just defended yourself from a deadly attack, I'll go along with that. Y'all gotta cut this out, man. This got this has to stop. This foolishness that just makes reality unpleasant. Stop with the buffoonery, people. You are a victim of an attack, a deadly attack. You successfully defended yourself. You are the one who needs to be angry with her. September 11th, 2022. The peace and quiet of a San Juan neighborhood is broken with barking, a call to police, and gunfire. 8.50 a.m. 
San Juan police officer Luis Diaz heads to South Kansas Avenue for aggressive canines on the loose. He uses his siren to scare away the three dogs and meets with the caller who claims the large dog jumped on her while she was getting her mail. And the dogs came back and he uses his taser to stop the dogs from getting closer. When he claims they didn't stop, in a split second decision he pulls out his gun and shoots two bullets out of fear for his life and the safety of the caller. One of those bullets hit Itati Rincon's Great Dane lady. Ma'am, I don't know that. Did you have the camera on? We want to see the camera. That, that's fine. But it's not fine. Now, now, now he's walking up and acting as if he's the victim right along with her. He figure, okay, this cop want to go on a guilt trip. Let's go along with it. Yeah, we want to see your camera. I'd have been like, why is this mutt running after me? Like, woman, are you, your dog almost killed me, tried to kill me, almost attacked me. Don't you see? I just had to shoot it in self-defense. Where, where is her accountability here? Isn't the law, doesn't the law say that they're supposed to control their dogs? That's the law. You have to always have it under control. So when a mutt chases you down the street and tries to attack you, you have no business playing the perpetrator. You are a victim, 110%. People, this is not deep. This is not deep. And I shouldn't have to coach people to do the right thing here. This should be common sense. Officer Diaz's camera didn't record the shoot. It, the only reason this can happen is because of this goofy pro-dog propaganda that's out here in the world. Where dogs are a protected class of aggressors. Dogs are a protected class of killers child predators that contaminate everything that we need for life plant life water and air they are nothing but a nuisance a nuisance to humanity we got to stop pushing this mantra that these things are some type of saviors for people you couldn't be more foolish Shooting only after he killed Lady. Taking a closer look at the body camera footage released to the four investigates team raises red flags. Big portions are, are muted. You know, we only know what, what they wanted us to know. Look at the pattern. Man, look, don't nobody owe you no explanation. You broke the law by not being in control of this mutt. Nobody owe you nothing. You the one who owes something. You owe an apology. Fact, you owe me money for pain and suffering because my adrenaline went through the roof, fight or flight kicked in. That probably took a few minutes off of my lifespan, all because you broke the law and was not in control of your killer. What needs to be done is we need to simply take your killers away from you. Your stinking, defecating, slobbering, contaminating killers. It's a potential police policy violations. Officer Diaz's audio cuts out when he's speaking with witnesses. Si, este, um, talking with other officers. I don't come into animal control calls. when he's talking to the animal control officer and Man, when please what are we supposed to believe that the cop shot the dog just for kicks why else would he shoot it what are they trying to say and this happens everywhere anytime cops shoot dogs where's their accountability and why would you suggest that somehow that cops themselves are the people who get off on seeing dogs in pain. Stop it. The only reason he may have not 
recorded him shooting that dog is because he's aware of the pro-dog propaganda and nuttery that's out here in the world. He is speaking to Sergeant Leonardo Cifuentes at the scene. And he's not the only officer with microphones being turned off. You can see the microphone is being turned off from another body camera when Diaz is talking. These people talking about cameras and mics being turned off. They would be the same ones that would shoot that Great Dane if it was coming at them. Each and every person, each even that woman sitting there boohooing and crying. The man who walked up like he had an attitude. Both of them, if they were in that situation and they were the cop, they would have shot that butt too. You got to understand when people are playing dumb, man. People have a bad habit of playing dumb. It is all because they're clinging on to some goofy propaganda that just does not hold up to scrutiny. What, what is wrong with people nowadays? This is crazy. What what happened? What is happening to people's brains? It's like everybody's, their brains is just being more and more decayed. About the Rincon family getting a lawyer. I'm gonna sue you guys, I'm gonna I didn't wanna shoot him. City manager Benjamin Arjona and he just said, investigates team. He direct the cop just said, I didn't wanna shoot it. That's the case with all these people. We've seen videos where cops actually rubbed petted the dog before the dog attacked cops are dog lovers what are you talking about all over this is where san juan directed then police chief ruben morin to look into why diaz's camera wasn't working it's so hard you know putting all your love into a dog it's taken from me because somebody was scared I got bit once already. But because somebody was scared. What? No, it was taken from you because you couldn't control it. You know full well the thing is itching to attack someone. It was shot because it attacked someone. But she want to blame the victim. And say he's at fault because he was scared shouldn't he have been scared worried concerned about his health his well-being getting back home to his family in one piece the same way he left what are you talking about this is foolish all dog nuttery is foolish every single talking point they have you're a bunch of goofballs and I'm just dying for one of you behaviorists to take me up on this challenge. I have not heard a valid argument yet about anything from a nutter, especially a pit nutter, that justifies their existence in society. Now, I wanted to uh, touch on this. And like I said, I'm behind. I'm very behind on uh, the things I need to touch on. But I'm going to try to do it one uh, upload at a time. And try to get as many things covered. But also putting a good spotlight on it by using shorter videos. So I hope to see you on the next as we continue with this crusade.